breeds my heart. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. Where sin runs deep, your grace is more. Where grace is found, is where you are. And where you are, Lord, I am free. Holiness is Christ in me. And where you are, Lord, I am free. Holiness is Christ in me. go through our day we clean up at the end of the day and we hurry to a place like this tent for a service in the evening or maybe we stay home maybe we start getting ready for the next day how many times do we live our life without a consciousness that we need him we need him amen there is no other way to live and there is for certain no other way to die Lord I need you oh I need you every hour I need you my one defense my Righteousness, oh God, how I need you. To the river. I am going, bringing sins I cannot bear. Come and cleanse me, come forgive me, Lord I need to meet you there. Waters, healing mercy, flows 
with freedom from despair I am going to that river And Lord, I need to meet you
us the chorus, Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus, I am ready to surrender every care. Take my hand now, lead me closer. thinking today, um, and I just wanted to share this as an encouragement. Um, many years ago, Gospel Express came to our little town of Kelowna, Iowa, and God had, by that point in my life, <laughs> set me free from many, many bondages in my life, but there was still something that I was holding on to and didn't even realize it. And one night, Brother Nelson spoke on complete surrender. And I went into that service believing that I had surrendered everything, but that night God put his finger on something in my life that was a tremendous hindrance to me, and that was my own pride and fear of my reputation. And God asked me that night to completely surrender that to him, and I fought, it seemed like, for a long time. But that is the night that I can point back to where I gave Jesus Christ absolute surrender. Yes. And, you know, it was three weeks later that we were excommunicated out of our church. <laughs> and, you know, I was just reminiscing on that today, but I was able to walk through that devastating, hard experience of being excommunicated because of that previous surrender in my life. I don't know what it is in your life tonight, but I'm going to tell you something. Just encourage you that if God puts his finger on it, yes. and even give him permission ahead of time to do that. Tell him tonight, right where you're sitting, that there's nothing that you won't give to him. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I remember where it happened to me, 2 o'clock in the morning, on the seat of a tractor, front of a chisel plow going across a frozen cornfield in Iowa. God, I will go anywhere you tell me to go, and I will say anything you tell me to say, and I will never regard the price. For some of you, it can be right here tonight. Some of you have already been there. We're going to sing a song right now about the living water of heaven. And I don't know what Christianity even means to you. I don't know what it means to you to be a Christian or to know God or to walk with him. But I invite you tonight to just bow your head and close your eyes and maybe even lift up your hands and just allow yourself to come right into that throne room of God and let the living water of heaven wash over you.
your living water flow over my soul. I want to close with a song here that Karina does. It just talks about a sanctuary and how a mother, when a child is small, is her sanctuary. But as we grow bigger, we find in the arms of the Heavenly Father our sanctuary. your eyes you've done your best let me be your sanctuary let me be your safe place to fall I can take away your shelter from the rain I will share the weight you carry let me be your sanctuary we have weathered through the storm taking
Safe